Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and I have with me my good friend, Henry Turner. Hello. This is the second episode of our Blanton series. Uh, today we have... This is going to be Blanton's Takara Black. So uh, I did some digging. Takara means treasure in Japanese. Is that right? All right, dropping the knowledge. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> you know, do what I can. Okay, so uh, tell me about this one. So, talking a little bit about this particular bottle, if people don't know it, Aged International is, I believe, a Japanese based company that owns the Blanton's lineup. Uh, but they specifically and exclusively have the whiskey produced through Buffalo Trace in Frankfurt, uh, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. So, that's one of the things. This is one of the international releases that I believe is only released in Japan and uh, other Asian markets. And uh, was actually able to get one of these through one of the good people in our community. I'll give him a shout out, Mr. John Revedu. We ended up working out a trade for this one and also one of the red uh, Blanton Takaras. Yep. And I ended up getting him, I believe it was a Midwinter Night's Dram. Uh, still real and release for that. We did a good trade on that. So that's one thing I'll say for these bottles. It's always going to be a relationship bottle. You're not just going to look up on this somewhere. You're going to need somebody who either knows some people in the international, uh, on international flights or have to travel there themselves to get it. The letter on this one, for those that are interested in collecting all the horses. Man, I'm getting where I can't see. That, I think that's an O. Uh, yes. Yeah, that one's an O. So let's uh, go ahead and get this one aboard and see what it's all about. All right. All right, now Henry's off camera, but we're gonna talk about the color in the glass here uh, of the whiskey. The first whiskey that we, that the first Blanton's was uh, the Special Reserve. That was the uh, the first video that we did. I'll put a card up there. Um, man, I think this one's different. It it's looks a little, a little darker, doesn't it? It does look yeah. a little bit darker. It's still another 80 proof as of uh, the uh, Takara release, but it does have a little, slightly darker shade on it than the mm -hmm, other. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, uh, good viscosity. All right, well, let's nose it, taste it, and talk about it. All right, so, like we said, this one is a little bit darker than the one we did previously. I don't know why. Yeah, just a, <laughs> just a shade darker. Just, I mean, it's not like, yeah, it's yeah. not just complete. I think it looks a little bit different now that I get back kind of on this side of it, but um, yeah, it's pretty. Looks like a good, crisp, clean whiskey, American whiskey. So when I dive into this one, and I know I told you about it when it comes to Buffalo Trace, you get a little bit of that great Kool-Aid in there. <laughs> I get just a tinge of this. Of course, this is being an 80 proof blend, it's not gonna be as powerful, but I get just a little bit of that. And I get what I would consider is a fresh Rick House. For sure. And I guess maybe that's yeah. synonymous with these blends that we're gonna go through, but there's just something about that that barrel and that rickhouse just coming off of the glass. It's just very, very pleasant. But it, the, the nose is different than the Special Reserve. I would say the Special Reserve, the, the green label that we did, had a little bit stronger uh, profile on it, but also, once again, with it being a single barrel, that could just be the variation of uh, the barrel That's influence true. and nothing else. I mean, it's single barrel for a reason. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not a blend. Um, I think I get more oak on this one than what I did on the previous one. Not, not that I'm, well, I guess we kind of are comparing. I mean, yeah, it's a series. Yeah, so. I could definitely see that. Uh, more oak. I get that, you know that cheap bubble gum that comes uh, mm -hmm. like baseball, you know, and you wrap mm -hmm. it? I get that. That's gonna be the great Kool-Aid where I go uh, with that one. okay, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm ready to drink this thing. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> Light, thin, sweet, a little bit more. It's a little more pepper there. It is, but for me, and I'm not trying to talk bad about this bottle, like a really sweet, mild tea. I almost want to think in like mm. sugar water, you know, but if you put a little bit of tea on there, mm -hmm. that's kind of where I'm going with this one. It's okay. not bad or off putting, it's just the first one had a lot more influence from uh, the barrel and flavors and a little more caramel in it than this one, in my opinion. I think it did too. This one, uh, I think it has more wood from the barrel. Um, maybe not the char that the other one had, like the crystallization of the sugars, you know. Mm -hmm. um, 
I get a little bit of, I know it's not a new barrel, it's between four and six years old, right? Mm -hmm. so, <clears throat> um, there's something different, but I want to say a newer barrel, but I know that's not right. But the oak is more prevalent, it's more, it has more pepper. Not much, but just a little bit. Yeah, I say yeah. pepper, uh, oak spice, I guess. I definitely say that on the back end. I'll agree with you on this one. It's got it's a little bit more robust on the finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. It's a treasure, treasure. <laughs> and, and I, while, I know a, a Japanese word now. Yeah. So while we're talking about this one, once again, we can talk about the availability <laughs> on this one. You're not going to get this anywhere in America. And you're going to have to know somebody who either is in the military or travels internationally to the Asian markets to get this bottle. And then they got to bring it back. So I roughly would put this around 150 to 200. You know, I did a trade for it for an exclusive bottle as well. So I think that you're looking at 150, 200, maybe 250 for this bottle if you're going to get it. My humble opinion, I would. Probably not get this over getting a base Blanton's if you can get one and not a Blanton's store pick as well. Or if you get a Blanton's gold or Blanton's straight from the barrel, if you're getting into that price range, I would look at getting one of those instead of going for that. But if you were trying to hunt and get, you know, the base vertical or something like that, this is definitely one you want to go after. You can find this maybe on some online auctions or once again, if you know people who travel internationally. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's really interesting that just Blanton's by itself is owned and almost, it's almost its own operation within the Sazerac world, you know. Um, if nothing else, it's, it's truthfully contract distilled. Yeah. It's like <clears throat> well, a company, the uh, Age International owns the line and they pay Buffalo Trace to make it. Mm -hmm. And this was all done, I'm sure, during the times of, you know, the great whiskey depression or uh, <laughs> rubber depression when yeah. they were hurting for money and they needed to sell out the line to make some money. Yeah, do what you got to do, I guess. Hey, make ends meet. I'm glad they did because I'm too. enjoying this, so. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's give it a rating. Zero to 10. Zero is terrible. 10 is amazing. Availability, taste, and value is the criteria. What you got? So, unfortunately, with all these international bottles, I'm going to put them like at a negative two. <laughs> uh, price on this one, if you can get it 200 to 250, I think that that's pretty good for something that's not available in America. I would put the price at maybe a six and a half. Unfortunately for this particular single barrel comparing it to the other one that we did today, it's not as good. I probably put this at a five and a half. So like this one probably would be overall, I think maybe about a five and a half for me. I'm gonna rate this one a little bit lower than the one we had before. I can see why. Um... I think it's more one-dimensional. Agreed. Um, I, I, it's still good. I just don't think it has quite the character the other one did. And when I say the other one, previous video, special reserve, here's a card. Um, <laughs> man, yeah, it's 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 just the same old song and dance with Blanton's. It's the availability is going to bring it down. Taste is pretty good. Value, not so good. Um, I think I'm a six on this one. Yeah. I like the other one a lot better. And I don't know why. I mean, it should be the same thing, but it's not. Yep. It tastes way different. Sing yes. But it's single barrel. I mean, yeah. so who knows? So that's where I am. All right. Yep. Henry, thanks for bringing this by. Thank you. If you don't mind, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell down there at the corner. Just It doesn't cost anything. Just click it. So that's the best way to support us. We certainly appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time. Drink more Blanton's. <laughs>